Yeah, absolutely. So if you go to the next slide, so this is one of the things that was done, a study that was done by Harvard Business Review uh, a few years back. And what they did was they looked at over 100,000 calls, researched this over a period of three years. And what the, the result was, when you look at it, if you do not, so if, if you do not reach out to a lead within five minutes of them contacting you, the, the chances of you, the chances of you being able to connect to them drops significantly. So just within five to 10 minutes, if you don't reach out within five minutes, if, if, that, if you reach out within 10 minutes, you know, the overall drop is close to like 10x. So this was one of the core things that we looked at, mainly because if you look at inbound leads that come in, these are folks who are knocking at your door. These are folks who are saying that, you know, I want to see a demo of your product. So the prioritization for us was how can we really address these, uh, in, um, address this need pretty much as fast as we can. So that was the biggest thing that we did. And we did some research around this. So firstly, we surveyed close to some 114 high growth companies and survey is really not the right word. What we did was we actually went in and signed up as a lead for these B2B companies. And the way we went about this was we selected companies where Workato would be a legit buyer. And we went in as that persona. So for example, if that company was uh, selling to HR, our head of HR would go sign up as a lead. If it was selling a product to marketing, then I would go sign up as a lead. So a decision maker from that particular line of business would go and sign up. And we did that for 114 companies. And what we found was pretty amazing, which is uh, the average response time was close to 12 hours. So compare that to you know the five minutes, which Harvard Business Review says, but that means it is taking people a good chunk of time, hours, before they can respond to your lead. There was only one out of the 114 companies that were that responded within five minutes. And there was close to some 18% of companies who didn't respond at all. So when we looked at this problem, this, this is one of those things that we looked at. And internally as well in Workado, we had a very, very similar problem. It is how can we really enable us as well as our customers to be able to reach out to these leads within, within five minutes. So when we started on, on this journey some seven, eight months back, we were we have the same problem means majority of the time you know our leads would not either hear back from us or heard or we couldn't reach the five minute target so we took a very systematic approach to this looked at it very closely and if you go to the next slide there are a few changes that we did throughout one is we changed our our form we realized that you know a number of folks are visiting our, our pages but not really completing the form and a bunch of this had to be the length of the form which is there and there are lots of studies that go about it so what we decided was let's ask for the minimal information that we need in order to best help our customers or, or the prospects coming in and then rely on you know data enrichment to fill the gaps so rather than ask for things like company name which country you know all of that information which i can very easily get uh, get from zoom info discover or clear bit or any of those how can we take advantage of those and as a result, enable people to get to and fill the form as fast as they can. The second thing that we did was, um, if you go to the next slide, is looking at how can we deliver these leads and route these leads as fast as we can to our SDRs. So this is what we built. This is called LeadBot. And think of LeadBot as, as something where as it's, it's a bot on Slack and it can be on Microsoft Teams or any of the other chat products. Uh, we currently use Slack, so this is what is showcased over here. So the form fill information, which is the use case that people fill out, the information that they fill out is readily available. It comes straight to Slack. And from Slack, if you go to the next slide, um, we enrich all that information and bring that to the SDR. So over here, as you can see, it is filled with information from where, what we have in Salesforce, in LinkedIn sales nav, we enrich that information with Clearbit and, and Zoom info. And as you will notice over there, we also, for us, uh, Workaro, knowing what is your tech stack is important because that gives a very good insight about the use cases as well, potential use cases. We bring that information. If there is an open opportunity, what is the status of that opportunity? We bring that information. We use Marketo 
Uh, so Marketo has this thing called Marketo Sales Insight, which says that, you know, which, which are the various campaigns that this particular person has uh, participated in, if any, if they have gone to your website and visited key, uh, key aspects of your website, like say the pricing page, et cetera. So all that information, which an SDR or an AE would need in order to have a really good contextual conversation with the prospect, rather than having them go fish all that information, we put all that together, bring it in one single pane of glass in Slack so that they have that right in front of them. And um, if you go to the next slide, and we made it so that you could take action on it right away. So it's not that it's a notification coming with all this information and now you have to go somewhere else to take action. The actions are right there in, in Slack. So you, when you accept that lead, we internally use outreach. So it goes straight into an outreach sequence and maybe the first action in that is, uh, first task in, in that sequence is call. So you can pretty much start calling right away. Then you have the other dispositions which are there available to you as a drop down, And this is something that we can pull from Salesforce, all the necessary dispositions which are there. So for example, if you mark it as low fit, you can automatically trigger an, a drip campaign. And based on the type of persona which is there, that can trigger into a going into a specific sequence, or it can go into a marketer type of drip campaign as well, depending on where they are in the buying cycle. You can disqualify, you can reassign leads, all that stuff you can do. So think of an SDR uh, who is sitting in front of the computer. They are getting these DMs in Slack where they can look at all the information which is there, not just what the person has filled out, but a 360 degree view, if you may, of all everything that this particular uh, prospect has done with us. And they are able to start making those calls or start sending emails and have a very really meaningful conversation as a result with the prospect. So this Foster, has to for us. If we, uh, sorry, if we go back to a couple of slides, um, what do the fire emojis mean? Oh, that's a that's a great question. So we have our ideal customer profile, um, Rena. So it is means we service a specific range of customers from a from a from a graphic standpoint, as well mm -hmm. as very personas who are very uh, clear ideal customer uh, profile for us. So for us, it is. It is say people who are in operations role, whether it be sales ops, marketing ops, demand gen, those kind of roles, as well as IT, the business systems roles. So if we see any of those persona match as well as match on the firmographic, that to me, that to us signals that this is a high value prospect or a hot prospect. And then the other thing that it keys off is actions that they have taken. So if they have taken multiple actions, which we believe are the key actions for us, say for example, they visited. G2 Cloud and did a whole bunch of things around it, or they, they looked at a pricing page. So based on all these parameters, we classify them as a hot lead, and all that, the fire emojis show up for the hot lead, which is almost as a signal to the SDR saying that, hey, this is a hot lead, you need to target this right away, or, or, or prioritize this lead right away. Awesome, and, and WorkBot also does this kind of on the back end, right, where it's, where it's also looking at the leads that do come in, where we also help our SDRs kind of prioritize that based on the notifications that they get. So we would surface up, you know, the hotter leads, the more, the, the better fit um, leads uh, for the reps to reach out to, right? That's, that's exactly right, yeah. All right, uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, results that we've seen. Yeah, so this has completely changed the game for us we today, just by making it everything come to Slack, and by the way, when, when you're taking these actions or doing these things in Slack, with Workado, as you can imagine, we are tying it back to the system. So for example, when you accept that lead, it goes into outreach, it also goes and changes the lead status in, in Salesforce, right? So all of those things are happening in the background. So what this has done is dramatically changed in terms of firstly, the response times, uh, we are able to now reach out uh, within five minutes or less than four minutes in most of the cases. Our improvement from from a, you know submitting a, a demo request to actually meetings has gone up quite a bit, 4x. And the side benefit of this is our SDR RAM time has gone down mainly because firstly, you, the SDRs have to learn the product, right? So there is no, no substitute for that. But in terms of learning various systems, they don't have to. They just, everything is being fed to them in Slack. So that has reduced the RAM time for SDRs. Plus the other thing that has also done is brought in consistency. So rather than expecting that the SDRs will go first research LinkedIn, first research all these various places, 
and expect them to do all of that and then have that personalized reach out. We are, by bringing all the information to all the folks you know, right in Slack, it has enabled us to be very consistent in the way we are reaching out to people as well. So it has, it has helped in all those areas overall.